How to Write with Light with Dan McCrite of Stimulate the Night. Thank you for the introduction, Stan. That was Stanley Leonard. Check him out. He's quite the guy. So as Stan mentioned, I'm going to be teaching you how to write with light with flashlights and an iPhone or any cell phone with a light. So if you're not sure what writing with light even is, all it is is taking long exposure photographs and a thing called light painting using a flashlight or some sort of light source to write text into the image. Now, how do you actually do that? The first thing you need to do is set your camera up to shoot long exposure photographs. It can be 10 seconds, 30 seconds, two minutes, whatever you need to write whatever word you're trying to write. Here's the challenge with writing with light. When you're writing on a chalkboard, let's say, and you write an F, it would look like this. When you're light painting, there's a couple more elements. First, you're writing backwards. Second, you're turning the light on and off between every stroke, unless you've got some sort of cursive writing. So, it, an F would be like this. Now, the only way you're going to get good at this is just practicing over and over and over. There's really no trick to it. It's just doing it a lot because you have to learn to write backwards. You have to learn to write into an invisible space and you have to learn what your style is. What does your typeface look like? Let's talk about actual light. I'm going to start with this one. This one's my favorite. This is a wand light or a saber light, whatever you want to call it. It's made by Coast. I'll link it in the description. And the reason I like this is because you can get different line weights within your letters. And also it's very forgiving because it's hard to point it right at the camera because you're actually holding it like this. When you point something at the camera, you get this lens flare and it can destroy your image. Next is your basic flashlight. This is a little bit less forgiving for two reasons. The first reason is that when you point it into the lens, as you can see, it blows out your image. The next thing is as you're going up and down, if you start to point it down too much, you lose power. So you actually have to bend your arm to keep the light on the same plane with the camera. The final light that I'm going to show you is using an actual cell phone. If you forgot your flashlight or you just don't have it with you, which was the case when I was visiting Chicago, I pulled out my phone and I used the flashlight on the phone. To make this image, I actually covered the light, made a stroke, covered it, made another stroke, covered it. So it's not ideal, but it worked in a pinch and the results were actually not that bad. I hope this helped and I hope that you get out there and make some amazing light paintings. Thank you for watching How to Stimulate with Dan McCrite. Stimulate the night. Peace. How to Write with Light with Dan McCrite.